So this offseason, it was nearly impossible. It has been nearly impossible for me to take the real break that I said I was going to take. It's like every time I say I'm going on break, something happens. Like back in November, I said I was going to go on a two-month break. But then here comes NYCFC announcing their stadium. So I, I couldn't stay on hiatus for that. That's This is something that we all have been trying to get information on. When I say we, I'm talking about fans, spectators, independent content creators, independent journalists, just everybody who's interested in the growth of American soccer. We have been trying this whole year. And for some people, ever since uh, 20, 2013, when, when it was announced that NYCFC was joining the, M the MLS, we have all been trying to get information. So I couldn't so I couldn't stay on that hiatus when I announced. Then it came the World Cup, also MLS schedule release, and then you also got a lot of lower tier teams in lower tier leagues announcing that they're starting a team. So you got lower tier leagues like MPSL, UPSL, USL. They're constantly expanding, and the expansion is not going to stop. And speaking of USL expansion, and I'm going to talk about this in Chapter 2, the USL is not going anywhere. It doesn't matter how many cities the MLS expands to, the USL is here to stay. But I'm going to talk about that in Chapter 2. So, listen here, US men fans. First of all, I want to say I understand where you're coming from. If you were born between the years 1990 and 2010, like, we didn't have, and I'm one of those people that was born in between those years, 1990 and 2010, we didn't witness a real legitimate soccer league between those years. My first time ever talking about any American Soccer League was back in like 2016, like 2016, 2017. That was my first time talking about any American Soccer League. Up until then, I didn't even know that America had a major soccer league or major soccer leagues. So if you grew up between the years 1990 and 2010, because there wasn't a legitimate major soccer league around, Yes, MLS was around. Yes, USL was around, but they weren't they weren't legitimate at the time. As a matter of fact, MLS was in danger of going out of business in the early 2000s. And that's a fact. As a matter of fact, if it wasn't for NFL teams allowing MLS teams to use their stadiums, MLS probably wouldn't even exist right now. And that is a fact. So if you were, if you grew up, if you were born between the years 1990 and 2010 in America, we did not have a legitimate soccer league to support and to watch. Therefore, our only options when it came to sports was NFL, NBA, Major League Baseball, College football or college basketball, also NHL. Those were the main leagues that we had. So I understand at, at during those times, between the years 1990 and 2010, by you saying there is no serious American soccer league, because that is true. There is no serious American soccer league. All the American soccer leagues were unstable. And we didn't know they'll still be around today. But what I don't understand, U.S. men fans, is that there is a league today. Actually, there are multiple leagues today that have beat the odds. They beat the odds of going out of business. They beat the odds of instability. And they found a way through the 
the, the housing crisis, the stock market crisis of 2008, through the coronavirus crisis of 2020, through those two crises, they still found a way to stay in business and they are still here today. And for you to say that they're not legitimate leads, that's what I don't understand. What is the reluctance for today, U.S. men fans? I understand the reluctance between 1990 and 2010. What I don't understand is the reluctance today. MLS, USL, they have, they have beat the odds. They, they made it through the 08 stock market crisis, the stock market banking crisis. They made it through 2020 coronavirus. And they are still standing today. My question to you, U.S. men fans, what are the reluctance today from you supporting them today? Let me know in the comment section. Because, see, U.S. men fans, what you need to understand is this. A soccer team, the, the national team, the national soccer team is a reflection of the local leagues. You can't say that you're a fan of the national teams but you're not a fan of the local leagues. You can't say that you're a fan of the national team, but you don't support the local club that's right down the street from your house. Granted, between the years 1990 and 2010, there was not a lot of local clubs around. But that is changing now. Not only do you have MLS and USL, you have UPSL. You have NPSL. You have NISA. And then with the USL, you have different divisions. You have USL Championship. You have USL League One. USL League Two. All right, with well, MLS, you also have MLS Next Pro. MLS Pro. Then you also have academy teams. And you still have your local high school and college, which is two industries that have been around much longer, way longer any American professional league and it's still not getting the support that it needs. You know, you, you see, the thing that makes European and South American football, they call it football. So the thing that makes European and South American football so good is because they have people that support the local leagues because they know that the national team is a reflection of the local leagues if you don't have local leagues you will not have a good national team you u.s men fans will rather see players american guys go to popular european clubs and barely get any playing time than for them to stay in america play for one of the top mls teams like lafc nyc fc atlanta united where they can get more playing time. You would rather see them play for a top, a top big five euro like a Chelsea and Manchester United and barely get any playing time, which hurts their development. And then when they play in World Cup competition, they just look, they look, they just look out of order. They, they, they look like they, haven't, they don't have much playing time experience. Rather than them staying in America, finding the right team, where they can get constant playing time, consistent playing time, which will help them become overall better players. Now, do all of them have to stay in the States? No. But what I'm saying, it's just a bad look for a developed nation to have to send 90% of their key players overseas for development. When you're supposed to be the developed nation, how can you be the developed nation and not be able to develop players in your country? Now, such is going on now. Such is happening. Development is happening now. Majority, if not all, the MLS, I mean, the U.S. men team players, they are developed through MLS Academy. And then they go on to play for these popular big five euros. But the development pauses because they're not getting the playing time that they need to continue to grow. Now, do all of them have to play in, in MLS? No, that's unrealistic. But what I'm saying is U.S. men fans. It's just a bad look for you. you. You really think the Europeans want you to support their team? 
the Europeans don't want you to support their team. You think the Europeans are happy and become united with you when you put down your own country and uplift their country? They call you idiot. They think you're a fool. The Europeans saying, why, why the hell you're supporting our, our league? Why you can't support your own country? We don't need your support. That's what the real Europeans are saying. Local leagues are a reflection of the national team. We need more U.S. men's players to stay local. And if they don't stay local, find the right team where you will get playing time. Don't look for the popular team to play for. But look for the right team to play for. Where you will get constant playing time. And you won't be in a Christian Pulisic situation. Where you have to write a book. Because you're not getting the playing time that you need in order to grow. Speaking of Christian Pulisic. How can somebody be called Captain America when most Americans don't even know who he is? How can somebody be called Captain America when most Americans don't know who he is? We are, we are in a country that's oversaturated with sports. We, typical, we just average sports fans. We need to become familiar with these U.S. men players. We don't need... We don't need to be in a situation like we were in 2022 where we're hearing these guys' names for the first time ever. What will change that if guys like a Captain America actually plays in America so we can truly acknowledge him as a Captain America? We can't acknowledge somebody as Captain America when they spend most of their time in Europe. That's like calling somebody the president of the United States, but they reside in London. You're like, well, wait a minute. If, if, you're the, if you're the head of state, if you're the face of America, why are you living in Europe? This notion that just because you play in Europe, you'll automatically become good. That's nonsense. And we, as U.S. men supporters, U.S. men fans, U.S. men spectators, we got to get out of that mindset. That is a weak mentality. And we will never win any World Cup if we continue to have that kind of mentality. So, I don't want to pass my 15 minute limit. All I'm here is to say, U.S. men fans, stop resisting. Stop being reluctant to acknowledge that MLS, USL, NPSL, NISA, MLS Next Pro, stop, stop being reluctant to acknowledge that we have stable leagues in America. And majority of our players do not have to go overseas to, for development. They can get the development right here in America and have great successful careers in America. If other people, if, if South Americans like Tati Castellanos could come to America and become a good player and go off to Europe, Americans can do the same. If a guy like Cucho Hernandez could come from Europe, to Columbus, play well. Cucho Hernandez, his, his play has not declined. His play has not declined. There's no excuse. The local leagues are a reflection of the national team. We need more U.S. men players to stay local. Because come in 2026, we don't need to be confused about who they are. We need to know who these guys are. With better days ahead The battle was attrition Kept running hard like a cheetah on pursuit The way I play made others look the loop So I stand tall